Hello my dears and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Pamela and I put out beauty related videos like once or twice a week. So today's video is going to be all about my favorite brown lipsticks and what a better time to wear brown lipstick than in the fall time. And if you're not a fan of brown lipstick, I'm sorry. I really, really like it. I think brown lipstick just complements so many different skin tones and it doesn't even really matter what sort of undertone your brown lipstick has. I feel like it just looks flattering and I love this one a lot. I can't stop looking at it. It also complements any sort of like mustardy warm color eyeshadow looks that you pair it with and I just get really really excited over brown lipstick. Okay don't don't hate on me but um, I've got all of them swatched here and now that they've dried down um, or whatever they all just kind of look very similar but they're just a tiny bit different from one another right? Right? That's what we have to tell ourselves every time we purchase a lipstick, if it's in like our favorite shade, that it's just a little bit different than the other one, but these ones, these ones really are kind of looking the same to me. But, uh, I don't have any more babbling for this intro, so let's just get right into this. Yes! So I have basically four affordable brown lipsticks and then one high-end brown lipstick. I want to talk about sort of the lipstick ones first. These are obviously ColourPop lippy sticks. I have one in the shade Taurus and one in the shade Pitch. The first one, Taurus, this is definitely more of a warm, like neutral brown. It's definitely not too cool tone. Um, it glides on beautifully. It is just a regular matte formula. It feels nice on the lips, hydrating. I have it swatched right here and as you can see it's definitely a lighter one and it's like the one that I recommend the most if you want to try out brown lipsticks because it's a little bit lighter than the rest of them and it just suits you know multiple skin tones really really well if you own any sort of matte lippy stick you know that the formula is hydrating it's comfortable you can wear it for a long period of time um, I've noticed that with that particular shade it fades gradually it doesn't come completely off like a you know like a liquid lipstick would crumble or anything like that it feels absolutely amazing and if you don't like matte liquid lipsticks then I totally recommend the lippy sticks um, which brings me on to the next one which is in the shade pitch obviously this is the next one here and it is a very very dark deep cool tone brown and this is a beautiful beautiful color I don't wear this enough honestly but I love this again it's that same matte formula from ColourPop which is super hydrating and comfortable and it doesn't make my teeth look overly yellow so I enjoy wearing that dark lipstick over my other like dark lipsticks because the other ones tend to have a little bit more purple in them and you know a dark purple like lipstick make my teeth look really really yellow so I enjoy that one because like I said it's a little more cool toned but it doesn't have too much purple purple in it. It's just like a solid regular brown. Next up is my liquid cat suit in the shade Caramel Cake. This was I think the second launch of the liquid cat suits where they ad added additional shades and they definitely changed the formula on this because I have a few from the very first round and those feel a little bit more drying than this but this is just a beautiful color this actually looks a lot like um, pitch it's just a little bit more cool toned as you could see a little more purple it definitely will make my teeth look a little bit more yellow than I would like nonetheless it's very good it's affordable the only thing I will say now that I've swapped Watched them all is I don't like this doe foot anymore just because I feel like it was just a tiny bit hard to get onto the top part but it does hug your lips really really nice so that's my only complaint but that has nothing to do with the color it's just a wand preference you know so that's all I've got to say about that yeah okay moving the next on. one is definitely a little bit more red brown as you can see it has a lot more red in it but it nonetheless it comes off pretty brown and it's this one here it's got a little bit more like spice to it. Um, definitely love, love the Melania Mori matte lip, liquid lipsticks. Um, I've also come to find that I like this type of doe foot better. Oh, these smell amazing too. Um, this is in the shade Emotion and it is just such a stunning color. Like I absolutely love this formula. I think the most out of all of them feels very, very comfortable. You know, it doesn't feel like it's going to crack or settle into all of my little lines on my lips. Um, definitely affordable, like I said. Um, just absolutely love that one and I cannot recommend it enough. Especially if you don't want to get into a deep brown or like any of the other browns that I just showed. Like this would be a really, really good option 
option because it's got a little bit more red in it. So love that color. And then the last one I have is a high-end one. This is a mini and it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Bittersweet. This is actually what I am wearing now because this is what I ended the video with and so I figured I'd wear it in. I've got nothing but amazing things to say about the um, ABH liquid lipsticks. They feel phenomenal and they do not budge. They won't crumble. They won't budge. They are literally the best, in my opinion, high-end liquid lipstick there is out there. Um, this will stay on literally all day. It doesn't make my lips feel super duper dry and I have very, very dry, like chronic dry lips where I can't wear lipstick for too long without it feeling like my lips are literally just going to fall off. So I love this formula. It doesn't make my teeth look too yellow, but it does make my teeth look a tiny bit yellow. So I will note that. It also makes me look a little more pale than most, but nonetheless, it's a beautiful brown and I absolutely love it. It definitely dries down, not even sticky. It literally feels like you are wearing absolutely nothing. And I think that this is one of the best, but like I said, the other ones are just as good. They're just a lot more affordable. Now what, if you've got the money to splurge on a liquid lipstick or you feeling fancy and want to buy yourself a nice liquid lipstick, definitely check out the ABH ones. Like I said, there really isn't anything that I've tried compared to these. And, and that's all I've got for you guys today. So hopefully you enjoyed my little video on my five, my top five favorite brown lips. <sighs> and the camera's gonna die right now.